Okay. So, I didn't say nothing. But since today, I had to say something. Okay, so, you know how they send you a honey pot? Well, I got a honey poop that came into my life when 12 days after I got my spine brace off and I was able to take a real shower and um, you know I had had the on 24-7 for eight months just to recap you know I had a machine in my back had to really learn how to walk and everything and so she got me when I was vulnerable right and well anyways you know all good at first but um you know narcissistic abuse you know turning everything to her interrupting sentences uh, trying to get me to react you know she comes back from court well no 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 she goes to court um, they keep her two days gets let out gets community service and no that's just wrong you know her Facebook says she's she works for the community yeah she works for the community all right she's been working for the community well anyways you know my honey pot was a honey poop and well anyways you know I still let her come in and out of my life and she's the only piece of shit that I've ever been with okay well anyways <laughs> well anyways um, I guess she went to a rehab and to get sober and stuff but a few weeks ago you know, she usually calls me Rucka Brucka Ali and yells in the back. Because, you know, I live in the apartment upstairs, but it's towards the back. You know, but I told you, you know, with the freaking linked up to my brain and crap, you know, I've been trying to block it by just thinking Ali and seeing it in my head. And you can hear my perps saying, ah, oh, Ali again. And, you know, reacting and stuff like that. Okay, so... I'm not sure if she's getting out on weekends or if she's out, but she went out front, and I hear, Ali, she's never called me just Ali, you get me? But, um, yeah, all of a sudden she's saying, Ali, by the way, Rucka Rucka Ali is a parody artist, he does free speech things, he teaches, he, yeah, boy genius, I love him, he, his parodies help me with depression. Um, well, anyways, but she's yelling in front. You get me? Um, she did it again. Like, what, maybe a week or two again ago? I'm not bad with time, so I'm glad these videos have a time thing on. I mean, a date thing on them. Well, anyways, you know, I'm not letting her back into my life for getting upstairs. You know, they want somebody with a door pass, especially somebody like her that does the narcissistic abuse and pushes your buttons to react. Um, okay, that leads back, you know, to my other handler. To recap, you know, uh, another video and stuff at Starbucks, you know, pushing my buttons, pushing my buttons. It's all love at first you know, throughout years and stuff, but this person isn't my girlfriend or anything, you know, she's an older neighbor, you know, and, um, we've been friends off and on, but, you know, I've left for a year there, here, stay out of her life six months here, because pushing politics down my throat, and always knowing it all, interrupting my sentences, you know, turning it back to her, you know, um, trying to get me to react, you know, then I jet out of her life. You know, last time I jetted out of her life, you know, I made a, a video. And um, we're at the Starbucks drive through and she was just fucking with me. And I don't care how much I love Starbucks. I'm going to suck nobody's ass and let somebody abuse me like that. You know, and then, you know, when I'm not going to argue back or try to, like, stress myself out to get a point or react mm -hmm. you know I'm no fun I'm no fun or I'm in a bad mood well anyways um you know that was a little while ago maybe a couple months ago I'm not sure <laughs> check the videos well anyways um you know throughout this even if I don't talk to her and shit shoot she's always let me use her Wi-Fi 
you know, she's um, in the back across the alley from me down. So she's got good Wi-Fi. But, um, you know, I haven't used it for a while. Uh, but, like I said, my Play Store is not working. I can't download Messenger. You know, and that's been for months. Well, anyways, so I decided to put in her Wi-Fi. Well, what do you know? I put in both of them, the passwords. I even, excuse me, ma'am. I even sat on her porch trying to get her Wi-Fi. No internet. That's some bullshit. Um, that's bullshit. And then I said, oh, well, I tried to use your internet. And thank you anyways. You know, oh, something's wrong with it and this and that. That's baloney because I used a phone that wasn't mine and put it in. Went right in. Uh, and, um, well, anyways, yeah, I'm blocked from Wi-Fi. But that just makes me, you know, it pushes me off more. Okay, my birthday was on the 7th. You know, I haven't been going over to her house. Well, I go and see her husband in the garage, and I sit there and talk to him sometimes. But, um, her, no. Well, anyways, you know, she texted happy birthday, you know, and I said thank you. Uh, before that, she went for surgery, you know, so I just asked her how she was doing on text. That's it. Well, anyways, <clears throat> she said, oh, yeah. Um, she goes, um, I go to the doctor at 3. Uh, we could go get you Starbucks for your birthday on the way back or some shit like that. Or, yeah, I get off, I get out of the doctor's at 3 or something. But basically, she wanted me to come with her to wait with her so I could get Starbucks on the way home. Like I said, I wasn't sucking ass for Starbucks before. You know, I mean, I jumped out of the car. We were in the Starbucks line when she started with me. And she said, oh, well, you know, you're no fun. I'm no fun because I, wanna, I don't want to argue back. You know, but, oh, I'm not going to give you a ride to the doctor tomorrow, the hospital tomorrow. That's fine. I jumped out. But you know what? I don't want to be, you know, sucked back in when there's no behavioral change. You know, there's no behavioral change. Everything will be good at the beginning. Maybe. <laughs> but I don't want to be some 